Jerry at Fair Oaks. Jerry, did you happen to know that you're not the only one that's going to try for that open position on the polo team? Yeah. Who else is, Lee? Mm, I heard there were several fellas who would like to make it. Cully Newsom told me that he was going to try for it. What's he like? Cully Newsom? Yeah. Oh, he's all right, I guess. He doesn't seem to be very popular with the rest of the cadets, though. He's a second-year man, but mm, I don't know. The fellas just haven't taken him in and made friends with him. Why not? What's the matter with him? Well, it's like this. Cully's rich, see? Very rich. His father is Mark Newsom III, and his mother was Madeline Cully. <laughs> Both of those families are just about the wealthiest in the country. Yeah, but I don't see why that makes any difference. I'd like to be friends with anybody like that. Well, you're right. That's the way I feel, too. After all, it's not his fault that his people are wealthy. But it is his fault that he doesn't forget it while he's at school. You mean he thinks he's better than any of the other fellows, huh? Well, I don't know if he feels that way or not, but he certainly does talk an awful lot about his folks and what they've got. No, I see what you mean. Yeah, but maybe he can't help it. Well, he's going to be stiff competition for you on the riding test. Yeah? Well, why? Well, in the first place, he's had a pony when he was only a couple of years old. And as he grew up, he's always had his own horse to ride. He's had the very best of riding instructors, too. Uh-oh, I guess that lets me out. All I know about riding, I learned myself, except a few pointers Whitey gave me. Who's Whitey? Oh, he was in charge of the horses with the circus. Ooh. He showed me everything I know about jumping hurdles. Well, I don't see how you could ever get a better instructor than that. He was in charge of the horses with a big circus. He must know plenty about them. Have you ever seen, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Cully ride? No, I haven't. He's never done any riding here. This is going to be his first time to try out for it. Well, one thing I did find out from him, though, he's never played polo, so you're both starting even that way. Oh, well, all I can do is try. <laughs> That's the spirit, Jerry. See, I, I wanted to ask you something, Lee. Yes? I thought you told me I was going to have Mrs. Gardner for a mathematics teacher. When you went into her classroom the first thing yesterday and today, I, I had to go to study hall. You filled out tests the first day, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you did that so they can grade you and find out first just how far you are along in your arithmetic. Oh, I see. Well, I was wondering. I've been kind of anxious to meet Mrs. Gardner. Yeah, you'll most likely be in her class if your examinations were okay. Well, I sure hope I am. From what Captain Gardner and you and Tubby told me about her, she must be awfully nice. Oh, she sure is, Jerry. She's a real friend to all the boys. Well, there's the polo field. That's a stable right ahead. Hey, they sure keep the field nice. That grass looks like it's never been played on. Oh, they keep after it all the time. Hey, there's Linwell. He must have been down to the lake. Oh, Harold! He's waving. He sees us. Hey, come here. You know, I feel sorry for him, Jerry. He's the youngest and smallest boy here. He doesn't go in for any games or anything. I don't know. He always seems so lonesome. He's a nice kid, though. Oh, he sure is. I told you about his dad, didn't I? Uh, Tubby said something about him the other day when we met him in the gym. He's an airplane pilot, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a test pilot. One of the best in the country, too. Haven't you ever heard of Guy Linwell? His name's been in the papers lots of times. He's won a lot of first prizes at air races. Yeah, it, it is kind of familiar at that. Hi, Harold. Where were you going? Back to my room. Oh, you been down to the lake? Uh-huh. Hello, Jerry. Hiya, Harold. Hey, you want to come along with us? Where are you going? Over to the stable? Yeah, Jerry's going to try out for the open position on the second string polo team. Well, yeah, I'd like to go. That's the position Red Morrison lost. And that's a tough one, too. It's a Gorman. 
Do you think you can handle that, Jerry? Well, I don't know. I never even played polo, but just like I told Lee, uh, I can try. I wish I was a little bigger so I could ride. <laughs> oh, you'll get there yet, Harold. You're liable to grow up bigger than any of us. Have you heard from your dad lately? No, I haven't. I don't even know where he is. What? You don't know where he is? How's that? Well, the last letter I got from him was three days ago. And he said in that letter that he was going to test some new speed ship for Hayden Aircraft. He said that it was going to be a secret test, and he didn't know just where he'd have to try it out. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. Sometimes those tests last a long time. I read once where they tested a ship for weeks. Yeah, I know that. Well, he's worked for Hayden before, hasn't he? Sure. It was a Hayden ship he flew in the air races last year when he won first prize. Maybe you'll get a letter from him tomorrow. Oh, hey, look. There's Sergeant Alden out back. See him, Jerry? Oh, yeah. Did I tell you that he used to be in the Army? No, was he? Mm Mm-hmm. He was a sergeant in the cavalry. And he sure knows all there is to know about horses and riding. He must be if he was in the cavalry. Gee, I'll say. Look who's in the back of Head and Ray. I can't quite make out... Who is it, Harold? Looks like Paul Warren, doesn't it? Yeah, I believe you're right. Yeah, that is Warren. Say, if he's going to take the riding test, there's some more competition for you, Jerry. Why? Who's he? Well, Paul comes from out west. His dad has a big ranch. He was brought up with cowboys, and he's been riding since he was just a youngster, too. Is he an upperclassman? No, no, he's a plebe. He's up on the second floor in Hayward Hall. He's a little older than we are, though, and goes to different classes. That's why you haven't met him yet. No. Well, now that we're here, what do I do? Just wait till the sergeant comes out. Here he comes now. I'll introduce you to him, Jerry, and then you tell him that you saw on the bulletin board that there was a place open on the second string team. Okay. You, uh, you cadets want to see me? Uh, yes, sir. This is Cadet Jerry Dugan, Sergeant Alden. Well, I'm glad to know you, Dugan. I'm glad to know you, sir. I've come to see about that open place on the second string uh, polo team. Oh, yeah. You're, you're a new man, aren't you? Yes, sir. I've only been at Fair Oaks about three days. Mm-hmm. Well, did you ever do any riding? Oh, yes, sir. Well, how much? Tell me about it. Well, I was with Randall Brothers Greater Circus. Mm, you rode with the circus, eh? Yes, sir. I did a race act, and then I used to ride a little colt that I broke in. I had him doing some pretty high jumps just before I left the circus. Mm, well, that should be pretty fair recommendation. But uh, did you ever play polo? No, sir, I haven't. Well, now, you go and sit on that bench over there. I'm expecting a couple more of the boys. And I'll call you when I'm ready for you. Yes, sir. He's going to give you a test, I guess. Sure he is. He thought that was pretty good, Jerry's being with the circus. I sure hope you make it, Jerry. And I guess Red Morrison will be singing a different tune if you do. Gee, wouldn't that be great? Give the test everything you got, Jerry. And we'll be pulling for you just as hard as we can. Thanks. Hey, look, there goes that other fella talking to Sergeant Alden. Paul Warren? Yep, he's going to try for it, too. I wonder how many are going to try out. Mm, Cully Newsom said he was. Who else? I don't know. I haven't been talking to anybody about it. Hey, here comes someone else. Uh, no, over there. That's him. That's Cully. Where? I don't see him. Look, over there. He's coming this way. Oh, yeah, I see him now. <laughs> hey, Newsom. Coming. You haven't met him yet, have you, Jerry? No, I haven't. Well, you will right now. Greetings. Oh, come here, Cully. I want you to meet my new roommate. This looks like quite a turnout for the test. Are you going to try out Phillips? No, no, not me, but my friend is. This is Jerry Dugan, Cully. Charm, Dugan. Uh, very happy to make your acquaintance. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to know you. Are you a horseman, Dugan? Uh, yeah, I can ride a little. I do wish I had my own horse to ride. There's no telling what kind of nag they might give a person. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Cully. Every horse at Fair Oaks is the very best they could get. The best is none too good, Phillips, when it comes to polo ponies. But we'll make the best of it. However, if I do succeed, I shall have Father send me a special saddle. Cadet Newsom. Yes, sir. Coming. I'll be back presently. I see what you mean, Lee. Special saddle. <laughs> yeah, did you get that? Well, I still think I'm right about him, though. What do you mean? Well, I don't think he acts like that on purpose. He just can't help it. He was brought up like that. Mm, that may be. He's always had servants that have bowed to him and made him feel superior. But underneath uh, all his fancy talk, I'll bet he's a good guy. Sergeant Al- Alden is talking to those fellows out into the field. I wonder why he didn't call you, Jerry. He, do you think he forgot me? Oh, no, no, he'll call you when he's ready for you. Look it, there's a couple of the ponies saddled. Oh, maybe he's going to try them out first. Cadet Dugan! The sergeant's calling you now, Jerry. Well, can't we go along and watch? I don't think the sergeant would mind. Come on, let's hurry, Jerry. Coming, sir. Hey, look at Paul Warren is mounting one of the ponies now. Mm-hmm. He's going to try out first. He did you see him get up on that pony? He did that like he's been doing it all his life. Yeah, look that way, all right. Here, Jerry, through here. Hey, you cadets stay on that side of the boards if you want to watch. Yes, sir. Well, I'm, I'm going to let Cadet Warren and Cadet Newsom try out first, Dugan. But all three of you are going to try out, and you'll be judged equally. Yes, sir. All right, Warren, whenever you're ready. 
First walk around, then let me see a trot, and then a gallop, and then back into a walk again. So go ahead. Hmm, that's not so hard. You can do that, can't you, Jerry? Sure, that much is easy. I'm afraid that's not all there is to the test, though, Jerry. Let's wait and see what's next. There's his trot. Hmm, that pony sure takes commands nice. Well, of course he does, but the word is, uh, nicely. Oh, oh yeah, uh, takes commands nicely. <laughs> Can you imagine Cully calling a swell pony like that a nag? Look at him go now. Boy, he sure is a good rider. Huh, too good. What's that, Jerry? Uh, oh, nothing. Now let me see some fast turns and quick stops. And some fast getaways. Hey, did you hear that? Oh, oh this is going to be good. Say he is good. I didn't have uh, any idea Warren could handle a horse that well. Ha, just look at him go. Wow, look at that sharp turn. Yeah, and that's only the start of the test. <laughs> You're not getting frightened, are you, Jerry? Huh? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Jiminy, he sure can ride. Well, that's enough for now, Warren. Cadet Newsom, mount that other pony now. Yes, sir. Hey, that can't be all there is to it. No, but that gives the sergeant an idea of how well he can handle a horse. A very good idea, I'd say. Oh, there goes Kelly now. Mix it up the same as Warren did, Newsom. Yes, sir. Now we'll see what the great Newsom can do. Mm, he looks right at home up there in the saddle. He sure does. Sure, that getaway was beautiful. Look at that. I guess he wasn't bragging when he said he could ride. Mm, he's almost as good as the Russovs. The Russovs? Who are they, Jerry? That's the Russian Cossack riding troop with the circus. Oh. Maybe he's just showing off. Uh-uh. There's no such thing when it comes to riding. You either can or you can't. Just look at him. Well, this is certainly a surprise. I think he's even better than Paul Warren. He's just as good. You know, I think I'll pass up the test this time, Lee. What? Well, both those fellas have been riding longer than I have. You can see that. Jerry. Oh, well. Now, how do you know what you can do until you try? Those are real polo ponies, Jerry. You'll be surprised once you get up in the saddle. I know, I know, but, well, both Warren and Newsom have been here at Fair Oaks longer than I have, and by rights, they should get the open position on the team. Jerry, you're getting cold feet. Not only that, you're letting me down. I didn't think you were a quitter, Jerry. I'm not, but, well, after seeing him ride, I, I don't think I'd pass a test anyhow. Okay, Newsom, that's all for now. Cadet Dugan, take that first pony now. Oh, me. Go on, Jerry. Go on, show them, Jerry. Well, I don't think I can do what Cully just did. You're coming, Dugan. Go on. Yes, sir. boy, Jerry. Good luck. Do the best you can, Jerry, and you'll be all right. Ride like you never rode before. Okay, I will. Watch me. Oh, we will. And we'll be rooting for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> 